scientists worldwide especially in the medical field have been grappling with time to try find the cure for HIV and AIDS today ladies and gentlemen welcome Askarim's clinic delves deeper into the milestone reached in fact the good news is there is HIV cure in sight phase 1 trials are already done it therefore means that this is a great milestone reached kindly as we go deeper into this consider subscribing so that we get more information about the HIV drug as time progresses now the HIV cure has been discovered and made by American gene technology now this is not just a rumor as others usually do in the years before this is something that is being tried in fact phase one trials are done and the results are magnificent the results are awesome i would say very promising i think this is the first time we are reaching that far the scientists have done all they can now american gene technology is the company that has come up with the cure it is a private company dealing with biotechnology now their main purpose in the field is to pursue cures and treatments for infectious diseases cancer and other monogenic diseases i will explain this and make it simpler what is the name of this cure the hiv aids cure medication what is its name it is called agt 103t named after the american gene technology company now i want us to understand how this cure works so that even when it comes people know what they are consuming american g t 103t uses a technology known as gene therapy now that sounds a little bit technical and somebody is already thinking will they do some surgery on me and do i really have that money or will they do surgeries on my friend who doesn't have money no it doesn't involve any surgery it will be a shot just a single dose and you are done so the names like gene therapy are just there to explain to you what exactly happened and how they came about to make this medication work in every body's blood or let me say every body as it were has what we call the white blood cells now these white blood cells are specialized to do some different groups of functions we have cd4 which is a, a specialized white blood cell and we also have cd8 which again um, is a type of white blood cell we can still call them t cells so when we talk about t cells or cd4 or cd8 we all mean white blood cell but you know every white blood cell every group has got their own functions but all these functions are revolving around immunity and protection of the body against disease causing pathogens so 
If you are attacked by HIV, what the HIV does, the human immunovirus, what it does, it gets into the blood, it combats or fights the CD4 cells. Now, this, the CD8 cells depend on the CD4 cells to boost them, to make them more active. So the moment the CD4 cells are attacked, then the CD8 cells could just multiply, but they will not have that energy boost to kill the virus. That is what the virus has been doing. It enters the body, it attacks the CD4 cells, then the CD4 cells are unable to boost the energy in the CD8 cells to fight or even kill the virus. Now, I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. Otherwise, there are bigger terms to use. But I'm explaining so that we all understand what happens in the body the moment HIV gets in. This is a point of interest because a lot of people have lost their lives. A lot of people have lost their parents, their daughters, their sons, relatives. So we need to take this information very seriously. So now what happens? What, what happens with the gene therapy? Now, gene therapy, the moment you hear of gene therapy, it is a technique that simply modifies or alters or changes a person's genes to treat, prevent, or cure a disease. So that is what we mean by gene ther therapy. It's not something so big. So then what happens after that gene therapy? Now, these medications will always enhance the cell's RNA interference capability against HIV. That is another term. Now, let me explain that the T cells usually have what we call CCR5 co-receptor. Now, these co-receptors in the T cells, that is the CD4, they are the ones that it is like a path. The, 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 the CCR5 receptor is the path that the HIV virus use to enter the T cells. That is the CD4, the CD8 cells. So what they do is they make sure that the new cells after the gene therapy, the new T cells, that is the CD4, are modified so that they do not have the CCR co-receptors that accommodate the HIV. So it means the CD4 cells will work as usual. The moment they now realize the HIV is in, they'll boost the energy on the CD8. And the CD8 will trigger response and act by either killing, eliminating, or just protecting the body against the HIV virus. That is what the AGT103T does. Now, have they been successful with that? Yes. AGT103T promotes natural virus control and durable immunity from reinfection as well. The good news is the CEO of American Gene Technology, Jeff Galvin, announced the summary of results of AGT103T phase 1 clinical trials. This is what they did. They took seven people. Then, as we have said that AGT103T is just a single dose. And um, of course, it's a, a, a single dose of, when we say autologous cell, that means your own cell, your own CD4 cell, is taken and a gene therapy is done on it then it is injected back to your body that is what they did to these people <clears throat> the seven people now somebody will ask these seven people while this was being done were they still under art or arv treatment no analytical treatment interruption was done in medicine when we stop you 
from consuming the normal or regular medications so that we have um, a trial medication on you, then that stopping of your regular medication is called analytical treatment interruption. Why? Because before you are stopped, there are a lot of processes that have taken place so that you are safe. Now, these people were stopped. The seven of them were stopped from taking the ARV or the ART. And a dose was given to them. And this is what Jeff said about the results. Now, during phase one, they were able to accomplish safety and efficacy. What safety means, you know, when I'm introducing a new medication in you, and you are used to another medication, this new medication, the, the way your body responds is different from other person's body. So if we take seven people, that is actually diversity. We take the seven people, we inject them, or we give them a single jab, or we give them a dose of the, the AGT 103T, now, when they were given, out of the seven persons, none experienced any health events. In fact, this is a big milestone because many have died in the past during such trials. First trial, you are injected or uh, you are given the medication and you die. It's always, a, it, it's always 50-50. But the good thing is with the safety, the AGT 103T medication passed the test. How about efficacy? You know, they, as, as, as we've said that they modified the cells, the CD4 cells, and took them back to, 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 to the body. The cells, after being taken back to the body, that is through the jab or through the, the single dose, the cells behaved as they were expected to. They triggered an immune response. Usually, in the past, when these tests are done, instead of triggering an immune response, the medication turns against your own cells. All this happened when the seven was stopped from using ARV. So as I'm talking now, the process is still ongoing, but from these results, we have a cure for HIV. So there, there are two, in fact, three more phases that are remaining. There is the phase two trials, then we are going to the phase three, then the last part of it is a license will be taken so that the, 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 the medication can now be used across the world that is throughout the world <clears throat> now after these results they were asked who would participate again for further analysis out of the seven six agreed now the six participants were asked again to go the ATI, that is the analytical treatment interruption way. The treatment was still significant. In fact, viral suppression was discovered. Immune response was also seen. Now, the next step is phase two. It is now pending um, again analytical treatment interruptions. So after the phase two and the phase three, the only the only information I can't give now is whether they were male or female, and also the diversity in terms of eth ethnic groups like um, races, Africans or whites or Asians. I can't give that conclusion, but that is the results that we have now now what has happened with um 
American Gene Technology, they have rolled out a new company now called Admune. This Admune, its function is to solely focus on therapies that treat and cure HIV 100%. That is what they'll be doing. Now, that is supposed to mean that medication is there. And when these trials are done, then probably people with HIV AIDS will celebrate and we will celebrate with them as well because a lot of us have lost relatives to this disease and uh, the scientists dis- deserve a-, a pat on their back. Now, this medication will work and just by the first one trials, there is all hope that the HIV medication has surely been discovered. So that is all the time we had. As Karim's clinic, we request that you subscribe. Thank you.